I'd like to welcome everyone to our first anniversary. It's like a birthday party. <laughs> Yay, did you see the birthday cake? Yeah. Um, so we're pretty excited that we've uh, had a year. We've grown, we've learned, we keep changing. And this, this is a very large conjointed effort of many hands doing much work um, and letting a dream come true. And we keep adding to that dream. Um, every year we are adding courses and programs and more students and working well with the community. Um, so we're really happy with the growth we've had and the growth we see in the future. Um, so this evening, um, I just want to mention that BCC always does such a great job of looking at what the community needs. And right now, our communities are getting older. There are 72 million baby boomers alive right now. And um, as of January 1st of this coming year, 10,000 are going on Medicare every day for the next 19 years. So if you're looking for a job, this is a good place to go. And there are people looking for jobs. At this point, I looked it up today, and the unemployment in New Bedford is 10.3%. In Fall River, it's 12.5%. So we've decided to look at the community's needs of jobs and health care and put them together, and eHealth can fix those two things. If you come here to get the right uh, education, you will have a job at the end of it. That will be really helpful to people, which is another thing that a community school should do. Um, but also, it's hard to go back to school and quit your job. Um, so we've tried to do it in a different model here. We've done a hybrid model, which means that you only have to come to campus uh, for most programs one day or one evening a week, and you can still maintain your job and work at home. Um, on your computer, in your pajamas at 2 in the morning or 5 o'clock in the morning, whatever's your best time. Um, and But we don't let you do this alone. We have a great support. As a matter of fact, you're in the midst of our academic support center. Um, and this is open six days a week and four nights. And there's always people here, tutors and IT people. Matt's in the back. He's our whiz kid um, helping everybody get through when they get stuck. Um, we have um, mentors. Um, so it really, you are not alone learning at home. Um, and, and then, of course, you have your class time with these beautiful facilities we have with our biology labs and the wonderful classrooms. Um, so it's a wonderful setting to be in. Um, so as we celebrate our first anniversary, um, I would like to acknowledge, first of all, um, some of the people that really worked hard for this, and our president and uh, vice president and uh, the dean really worked very hard to get this uh, going the first time around, and it was a, a great deal of effort. And um, I know um, President Sprager uh, is going to talk a little bit more about that, but I just want to acknowledge at this point, um, you know, Sarah Garrett, who's our vice president, who worked really hard, um, and how <laughs> how much you know she did to help and takes a lot of guts to t try something new like this and to work with private partners. And um, Terry um, in the back was also, the dean was very involved with beginning this. <laughs> but not, nothing gets done unless the president says yes. And we have a really great yes man here with um, who sees. <laughs> I don't think you're usually known as a yes man, are you? <laughs> Anyway, President Sprager has a great vision for us and has really helped us to be launched. So he's going to speak to you a little bit more about what this effort's been. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Uh, when she was talking about the population getting older, did she look at me? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want to echo what uh, Karen said and her sentiment. Uh, we're very proud of this program. It's uh, uh, right on the cutting edge of uh, what's happening in higher education uh, with the public and the private partnerships. Uh, I want to welcome you. Uh, as Karen said, this is the first anniversary. Uh, one year ago, uh, we were in this room to celebrate the start of a groundbreaking uh, uh, education model, which this was. Uh, and it starts with the dreams of our dean of the New Bedford campus. You've already uh, heard her name, but ter uh, Dean Terry Romanovich. Uh, very important as we got this uh, pioneering effort started. She's now uh, off on another pioneering effort with the Middle College that also has the support of the city and the community. And we're very proud of her and her great work. Uh, 
Uh, I, I wanted to mention uh, about a year ago at this time, we, just as we had that groundbreaking, the governor, Governor Deval Patrick, was here. <laughs> Uh, the Secretary of Education, uh, Dr. Paul Revel, was here. The Commissioner of Higher Education, uh, Dr. Richard Freeland, were here. They all came down from Boston. Sometimes, as you know, when we live down here, people are not sure there's a life on the other side of uh, 128 or 495. But here they are. And uh, when I met, when I welcomed uh, and met the governor in the lobby, I, uh, my first words were to him, Governor, welcome to the future. And this is the way the future is going to be. Uh, these public-private partnerships are absolutely the key. Uh, uh, it's a great marriage, if you will, in these partnerships. We have uh, private money uh, that's available on the sidelines and public entities willing to do the work but not really rich in resources in these times of fiscal challenge. So it's a great marriage. And uh, I'm just sorry that uh, uh, Jerry Kavanaugh could not be here uh, the instrumental leader of uh, higher education partners. Uh, we started originally with the Princeton Review, and uh, Jerry, a New Bedford native, uh, is out in Ohio uh, working on a similar project in Ohio for our community colleges out there. Uh, but uh, I'm just sorry he couldn't be with us to officially celebrate this uh, first anniversary. He has been terrific throughout, and I'm not sure uh, that if he had to do it again, he'd do it again. When I took him through all the maze and the bureaucracies and things that we had to go, uh, I was always dumping him in the car and going up to Boston to meet one, you know, one group or another, the Department of Higher Ed, uh, the accrediting regional accrediting agency in New Bedford, uh, in, uh, in in Newport, and uh, also the uh, in Bedford rather uh, in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, we had to get lawyers, all kinds of lawyers. I think we made a whole legal profession rich uh, as we tried to sort out. Uh, one thing or another, union act, union contract had to be, uh, uh, you know, we had to follow the union contract, of course, and uh, everybody wanted to be sure. And of course, as you know, when you get into a new thing, uh, a number of rumors start spreading. Well, they're going to do this or they're going to do that, and uh, uh, so we kind of, you know, that circus game where you pu punch down the uh, heads and the heads pop up. Uh, that's a, kind of the way we felt, and Jerry, Jerry was just spectacular through it all, as were the people at BCC. Uh, working their way through one obstacle after another, uh, but we move forward and, uh, and it's a great success now. Uh, the governor was very impressed. One of the most impressive things I've ever seen uh, uh, from any governor uh, was that he stopped out there in the biology uh, lab. There was a class going on and he had like a 20 minute discussion with the professor and with the students in the class about uh, what they were learning. It was a spectacular uh, and uh, just so so typical of him, uh, isn't it, that, uh, that he'd be there. And we also had city uh, people here. Mayor Lang has been a, a staunch supporter of this project. He recognized the value instantly and, uh, and provided the, all the support that the city could provide. Two people on the school committee were here a year ago, and they're here again tonight to celebrate uh, with us, and I'm very grateful to them, Dr. Uh, John Fletcher uh, from the school committee, and Professor Marlene Pollack, uh, who wears several hats, one of being a BCC professor, but uh, also a very staunch member of the, of the uh, school committee in New Bedford. So we're very excited about um, uh, this event, uh, it's only the first of uh, many, many birthdays that we're going to have uh, for eHealth. Um, this is uh, something that it, uh, we want to start uh, and meet the needs of the community. It's all about providing capacity, uh, elevating capacity, providing opportunity. That's what we're all about. Uh, and I don't see the mystery uh, here that some people uh, agonize to try to find. Uh, there's no secret plan. The idea is to expand opportunity for the citizens of New Bedford and the greater New Bedford region. The opportunity uh, also to meet the needs of the health care providers in this region, not just the hospitals, but the health care providers. And uh, what's the big mystery? I mean, this is, to me, I thought this was like a no-brainer. This is something that we really want to do. We've got the support from people with, with money. Uh, and uh, they see the value of it, and our, uh, our uh, BCC people see the value of it, the city sees the value. I mean, it's, it's just a great, great marriage, and it's going to continue, and if anything, it's going to expand. My personal, uh, I'm already at the point where I want to start looking at other fields besides health uh, to, to operate these, uh, these programs, uh, and the hybrid program that uh, Karen mentioned, very important, that uh, students have the uh, 
I'm going to say luxury or convenience of being able to do some work online at home, as Karen mentioned in your jammies, uh, at 2 a.m. or whatever suits your needs. But the hybrid part of it, and hybrid means part of it's online, part of it's here face to face, and some people uh, need that support face to face. And I'm not sure I get this. Well, when you're home alone, you know, uh, what does this really mean on the screen that I'm reading? And you come in here and you see all these smiling faces, that uh, experts that'll help you uh, with your with your schoolwork. So we're very very uh, happy about it. We've been suffering uh, for a while about. Um, uh, of a lack of uh, capacity at BCC uh, in this time and time of difficulties, financial difficulties, to expand uh, uh, programs. Uh, uh, we have certain limits that we can only abide by. We can only hire so many faculty. We can have so many labs and things like that. Yet the need is expanding in the uh, in the uh, uh, community, as Karen said. And people like me are getting older and older, and uh, we need help. Um, so, uh, the jobs are there, and uh, in this day of uh, unemployment, why not help out? The higher education partners invested $2.5 million, $2.5 million, and I think there was another million thrown in after that once to, uh, um, you know, to uh, really finish the place uh, here for this facility. Uh, and it's a reality, and here we are later, approximately 300 students are in the program, actually 297, is that approximately 300? Uh, and um, uh, and more coming. We have people come in today. That's the purpose of this open house, is to welcome people, advise them about it, and uh, see if they, the uh, uh, purpose of today is not only see if we can get them in class, but see if my voice holds out for just a little bit longer. Um, the, uh, the college has been able to expand these uh, fields, and it's a win-win. These career fields is a win-win for. Uh, you're going to hear uh, from two of our students in a few minutes, and they represent students who are pursuing their dreams because of e-health careers. They couldn't do it otherwise. We have our regular classes, you know, let's say Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 o'clock. Uh, it doesn't fit everybody's schedule, and that's the beauty of the flexible scheduling and the hybrid. Uh, these are students who would be shut out of college otherwise if it weren't for the, this flexibility and the modality scheduling that we have in e-health that we cannot replicate in our uh, standard uh, programs. Certainly their access doesn't mean much unless the education they get is of the highest quality. That's our biggest priorities at uh, BCC, education of the highest priority, of the highest quality, uh, access and opportunity. We provide opportunity. Um, so in our first year, our student outcomes in e-health have mirrored the outcomes of the other student body, the entire student body at BCC. Uh, the student grade point averages are the same, their course completion rates are about the same, and their performance in even the most challenging courses. Health programs are not uh, filled with very easy courses. Uh, and uh, you know, I'm glad I don't have to take microbiology and uh, chemistry and some of these other courses. So it's uh, very challenging, yet their outcomes have been uh, very uh, much similar to what the whole community college, uh, our student uh, profile is. And uh, what more can we celebrate? Well, we do have one big piece of news. This is just not a birthday party, uh, as, as important as that is. Uh, but I'm, it's my pleasure to announce today that uh, in honor of uh, our first anniversary, and eHealth Career's first anniversary, that starting next fall uh, with the new academic year, um, FY13 if you're counting, um, that BCC eHealth Career program will expand to offer our highly regarded nursing program. Up to now, we had, uh, we're, we're uh, rolling out uh, various programs in the health field, uh, all very important, all doing what I said about filling community needs, and nursing is exactly uh, a jewel of our health uh, programs. Uh, it is something that uh, capacity is just not there. I th you may recall me saying uh, many times, we have something on the order of 1,000 applicants every year, every year, not just uh, one particular year. And we can only take 72 positions. Uh, so you can imagine how many people are disappointed, how many hospitals and, and healthcare providers are disappointed because they can't get more graduates. And everybody speaks about the high quality of those graduates. You go, and I hope you don't have to ever go in the hospital, but if you do, uh, you're likely going to find uh, a BCC alumni uh, working with you and uh, moving forward and giving you the service of the highest quality that you deserve. 
Uh, so the idea was to expand that capacity, get more of those excellent uh, BCC graduates out there in the various health programs. And today, I'm announcing that there are going to be more in nursing as well starting next fall. Uh, and that's, that's important. That's very important. Thank you. We're accepting applications now for beginning uh, nursing classes in the fall of 2012. It's a very rigorous curriculum, and uh, uh, it's just very exciting to announce that we can. It's something that's frustrated me for 12 years. I've been here 12 years uh, that we had not been able to increase uh, those 72 slots. This is the result of a great deal of hard work on the part of our academic area and the student uh, support area, student services. I want to acknowledge you met uh, uh, Vice President Sarah Garrett, our academic affairs officer, and our student service officer, uh, Vice President Steve Ozog, uh, working together. You uh, met also uh, Dean uh, Terry Romanovich, and you heard from Associate Dean uh, uh, Karen, Karen, there you are, Karen Varia. Um, so uh, it's now uh, my uh, pleasure to introduce someone who has been absolutely instrumental in uh, in making that uh, uh, nursing program uh, the jewel that it is, uh, and is now I'm delighted to uh, say has re kind of rejoined us. She thought she was going to retire, but we wouldn't let her, uh, and she has kind of rejoined us to work uh, with this new dimension of our first-rate nursing program. So it's my uh, my honor to uh, bring up to the podium and uh, introduce to you our acting, we could uh, get her back out of retirement as an acting associate uh, dean uh, for uh, e-health careers and for health programs, Marie Marshall. Marie. <laughs> give it up, give it up. <laughs> Hi, it's really nice to see all of you here, and it's nice to be here at, for the anniversary and to announce that the uh, nursing program is a go for um, a hybrid course. I know you have a lot of questions to ask, and I'll be glad to answer them at the end. You'll be happy to know that I don't have a script, so it's not going to be that long. Um, I just want you to know that I've been at BCC and the nursing program um, since 1972. That's a long time and it tells you what a nursing career does for you. You can be anything that you want to be. You can work anywhere that you want to work. On a cruise ship, I know that's a big thing for people today. Doctor's offices, uh, little clinics, you can hospitals, nursing homes, um, little satellite clinics. There's a variety of things you can do. Also, you can work almost any shift that you want. I want you to know that when I was going to school, I would have <coughs> prayed for a shortened work week. Um, of course, we didn't at the time. We had to work five days a week or have two days off. Now you can work in Boston or close by for two days in the weekend, and they'll pay you for an entire week. So you have the week off with your family. Um, you can work evenings, nights, a variety of shifts, uh, seven to seven, 12 hour shifts. So the var variety is really wonderful for any of you that want to be a nurse. But I won't kid with you because the 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 program is rigorous. You have to have good grades. Um, there are certain criteria to get in, and we do have some paperwork here for you if you want to know all of that criteria. There's five courses along with, with your requisites and prerequisites that you have to do. We require, um, this program is, is exactly like the program that has been running at BCC for uh, how many years? Um, since 60, 68, I believe. Um, a long time. It's the exact same program taught in a different modality so that it's not all face-to-face -face lectures, um, that kind of thing. You can do most of it online. Your testing is at the school and there's some face-to-face -face teaching that has to be done when you're there. So there might be, I'd say for this first course, at least the first two days are all face-to-face -face, and then pretty much after that it's taught in sections. You can stay home and do it, answer the questions, get your quizzes in. There is no difference as far as time frames. You'll have a time frame to get your homework in and your work done and um, the requirements done. So the privilege that you have is working at home or working for, for moms. If your kids are home, you can do it midnight to seven. At one time, I used to love the midnight shift because I could do so many things starting at the time that my kids went to bed. 
now I go to bed when my kids go to bed, you know, because I'm so old, but like President Sprague, kidding, kidding, kidding. I'll lose my job. Um, so this, you just have to know that because it's online doesn't mean that it's less critical or there is less to be learned or that you can do less. Um, you may have to do more. Um, Sometimes it's more difficult. In online, you have a chance to, to each of you, each person in the class has a chance to talk with the instructor. So you have a lot more time to answer your own questions and the instructor will answer all of your questions. Whereas in a classroom, the only people you really interact with are the people that raise their hands or that come to see you after class. So there's a lot to be said for online. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. I think I can answer more of your questions by you asking questions and then perhaps, um, is that all right? Do I have time to do that? <coughs> yes. Any questions from the people that want nursing? The application is the same. You can do it on the computer. Um, the requirements are the same. Do I need to tell you what the requirements are? Yes. It is. Um, for now, it's, it, it is going to be that way. Hopefully, as we establish the online hybrid program, you, pro you could potentially advance at your own pa place, but we're s pace, but we're certainly not there yet. Um, yes. You can only enroll in the fall. Yeah, we did have it both, but that got to have this program, we couldn't do everything and do it really well. Yes. Twenty-four to start, twenty-four at least to start, but it'll increase. But for now, it's twenty-four. Sally, no. Yes. The clinical is done here. The clinical we, we're going to have um, a state-of-the-art lab here, and the clinical is one day a week that you'll have to come in here, and there will be faculty here to for there will be one faculty for every eight students. Um, to teach the clinical component here, which means that you have to have the laboratory first to learn what you're doing before we let you loose on the patients. And then once you learn that and we're comfortable with that, then you go into the hospital for one day a week. And then towards the end, you have four weeks of two days a week in the hospital with no lab. So that's the contact that you must have. So you have to pass all of the, the variety of procedures that you learn in the laboratory before you go to the patients. So essentially, what you can do at home is all of the, ac uh, the academic and the clinical is here. Good question. Anything else? So it's four semesters. Actually, um, see, the way it runs, you don't really need to know how it runs now because right now the students go three days a week for the day program. Um, and you won't have to have much of that for the hybrid online program. You'll have to be there when you have to be face to face but most of the academics will be done at home or wherever you do them. Any other questions? Yeah, I've, asked, I've answered some questions already, done some advising, and I think they left. You might have started to. So um, there's a young man here. Where'd he go? Who and asked questions in advance. Want to make sure that we answered the rest of his questions. Maybe he left. But I want to tell you about the new lab. We haven't designed it yet, but we can't wait to design it. Um, we have ordered all of the supplies and equipment that go with it. We have a vision as to what it will, will be like. It'll be state of the art. We hope things will disappear into the walls and come down and do all these kinds of things. So we hope that it's, a, I think our people in Fall River will be jealous and want to come up here to use it. So if, if you want to see me after, that's fine. But that is our program. It is rigid. The requirements are rigid. We do have all the requirements. There's some paperwork in the back if you want to pick it up, or it's on the cat in the catalog, and it's online. Um, there are many prerequisites, algebra, chemistry with a B from high school or college, and then um, we need you to have the first semester of anatomy and physiology, the first semester of psychiatry, and the first semester of English. To have, um, to have an interview, to have an orientation session as to what you need, and then to take the TEAS test, T-E-A-S. That's what you need before you apply. If you, if you apply before you have them done, your, 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 chart, your record goes as incomplete and it's not looked at till it is complete. So if you get the paperwork, that'll tell you exactly what has to happen. 
and I think it's exciting. It's just a different way to learn. I know the people of today do everything on computer, iPod, iPads, I, I whatever. My grandkids say all these I things that I don't have any idea what they're doing, but they're always doing them. So we know that it meets a great need for the current people in society. So I'll be, I'll be available after if you have questions. Thank you. There is also a place on the um, application form for the nursing where you can indicate whether you want to be applying for the nursing program in Fall River or at eHealth, um, or mm -hmm. if, if you don't care, there's a, another check place that you can say it doesn't matter. Um, so, but if you really do want here at eHealth, make sure you do indicate that because that'll be important to be considered for this program. All right. Um, uh, there are two students here, and they have been here with us for a while. So it's just kind of nice, to, you know, it's all nice for us to say this. You might say, well, you know, she's paid to say good things about the program. I'm the director. Of course, I'm supposed to say nice things, you know. Um, although I have to say I really do love this, and I think it's just wonderful. But let's hear from Karen, who is one of our students. Um, she's one of our OTA students. And... Uh, Hi, good, good evening. Uh, my name is Karen, and I live in Dartmouth with my husband and two children. And I'm a first year, first semester occupational therapy assistant student in the eHealth program at BCC. Um, I was invited to share my experience in the e -health, as an eHealth student um, and an online learner. Um, 20 years ago, I actually earned my bachelor degree in arts um, in English. I have the minor in interpersonal communications, and I have a concentration in social gerontology, uh, which means I can read, I can write, I tend to speak okay, and I really dig old people. Um, <laughs> I've worked in the fields of mental health, geriatrics, and um, end of care, end of life care, and along the way, I've been taking classes in sciences, just. Uh, I knew someday I wanted to pursue another degree. I wasn't sure where. Um, and then last spring, my friend said, you know, Karen, you should really go into occupational therapy. Um, BCC is offering an online program. So I attended the open house, and I met with an advisor. And I was really psyched that BCC is very generous in accepting transfer credits. It was very helpful because I knew I didn't have all the time that I could um, necessary to do all the prereqs all over again. So um, I applied. And in the meantime, I took a six-week, one-credit course that I knew would be um, part of required for the OTA program. And I'll tell you, it was a great way to get my feet wet. Um, the online learning is very, very user-friendly. Um, like I said, it was just, I was doing it in my house. I, I could take the time. I could navigate through the computer. And right then and there, if I had a question, click. There's somebody. Yes, Karen, what do you need? This I know this is a silly question, but right on the spot. It, it was great. So it really put me at ease. And when I was accepted, I was really glad that I had taken that six-week class. Um, after being accepted into the program in July, uh, I attended two very informative computer orientations held right here in the academic support um, building here. And it was great because they went through everything. I mean, we sat here with our laptops, and it was from log on to it, very, very hands on. So for anyone who is considering that as a roadblock, because you don't really know the computer all that well, trust me, there's so much help here. The allure of the eHealth program has been what I think of as flexibility with structure. So once the lessons for the week were um, posted, I could create my own study plan for the week. I can work around my family. Um, I can see when my field work assignments are. And then I could go on and plan my week. Um, the assignments. What are your assignments? You're not in a classroom listening to a professor go on and on and on. Your assignments, could could they could be anything from reading from a textbook, which you will be required to purchase. There are textbooks. However, 
there are other things. There's YouTube clips. There's listening to lectures online. There's posting a discussion and chiming in with your classmates. There's Skype with your professor. There's office hours online. There's so many different ways to learn, so it mixes it up. It's better than coming to class and sitting. And you can be in your jammies. Um, so that's been really great. Um, again, the hybrid course uh, is, is a really cool way to learn because, again, you're not just um, at home alone reading and listening. You're in the class. You're face to face. And it's just a, a really nice thing to be able to say, hey, you know what? How'd you do on that? Oh, you, that's, you're Suzy Q. I, I was wondering who that was. You know, you know you're more face to face. And you're not just a name on a screen. So that's a really great way. Um, I'll tell you, the faculty, the field coordinators, the dynamic support staff have been absolutely amazing. Um, I never feel as though I cannot have my questions answered. The tools that are, they are available at every turn. You come in here and the first, what do you need? There's always Laura. Hi, Karen. Hi, what do you need today? How are you doing today? Everyone is just, it's, it's an instant family too. Everyone knows each other pretty quickly. Um, my classmates have also, they've been a wonderful resource for me. Um, we all communicate through our eHealth email. Um, we talk before class, during class, after class. We meet here during the week just to touch base with each other. Um, so it really, it's been great. It provides the flexibility to create my own schedule, um, go to my children's field trips, be home for them when, when they come home from school. And I would just encourage anyone considering furthering their education um, to be a knee health student, to really consider it. It's just, it's the way of the future, and it's like totally being online with learning. It's, it's a great way, and I think it's awesome. Thank you. So if she doesn't want to go into OTA, she could go into marketing. What do you think? <laughs> Our next speaker is, is Viviana Ibru. Um, she's also a student here, and she's going to. She's one of our general studies and healthcare students. Hello, how are you guys doing today? Um, well, I am a general health student, um, and I was one of the first eHealth. Um, student to apply, one of them, a couple more people, and I am looking forward to be in that nursing program. Um, I live in New Bedford, and I have two kids, and I work full time. So this is mostly the reason why I went to e-learning, because of my time. And they're very flexible. Um, I do work in a health field, I work at the health center, and I like helping people. Um, my family is first. I have two kids, a three-year-old and a seven-year-old, and for them, like I have to be with them, but work, you have to work in order to make a living. So when this program was approached to me, I was nervous at first, but then I liked the flexibility because I could do the homework at home, and actually I could be one-on-one -on -one with the teacher at home, um, but I like the opportunity. I like uh, the way they, you could sit with them, the advisor, you could sit with them and they explain, you know, talk to me in English, tell me exactly what I need to do. You have a goal and they'll help you get there. Um, the abilities of the uh, online courses, like the instructors, the, the homework assignments, they have a due date, so you could play your schedule around that. Um, I work in, in a healthcare 8.30 to 5, and they give you the schedule, so you actually, you know, could talk to your supervisor and say, okay, I have to go to school at this time. And it helps me, you know, I need to work to pay for, you know, my rent and, you know, uh, stuff, the general stuff that you need, you know, in your daily lives. Um, but the teachers, they're great, you know. Um, I can't believe it. You know, when I, when I graduated, I saw my, you know, my friends and I saw them going to college and I'm like, I can't do that because I need to work, you know. And um, now I see them, I'm like, this is going to be my fourth semester. I made it, you know, I'm going for it. And um, I, I like the opportunity. BCC has been great. Um, they have opened the doors to me. And I, I'm really in shock. I, I think it's a dream come true because I will be able, and I am going to apply for the nursing program. Thank you.
So if, you know, if you're here and you haven't been on tour, we do have some people that will be glad to take you around. Um, we also, up, up in the mezzanine, um, we have advisors that can um, kind of talk about what you might need if you're not sure about prerequisites. We also have a financial aid advisor upstairs if you want to talk about that. Uh, there is financial aid assistance available for people, so you know, even if you are working, sometimes it's still too much to pay for everything. So that's another way to consider um, helping you get through this program. Um, and we also have someone upstairs talking about some of our non-credit programs. So there's all kinds of options. Um, and um, there, there's also more information about the nursing. But since it's a party and since it's an anniversary, I was wondering if the two students and the president would help us cut the cake. Yeah.